Turkeys were first domesticated by Pueblo people about 2,000 years ago. DNA studies show that the wild turkeys that were domesticated are the Rio Grande turkey and perhaps the Miriam's turkey. Turkey bones are present in archaeological sites in small numbers until about AD 1000 when they become more common and by the AD 1200s, the century before people leave the Mesa Verde region, they comprise as much as 70% of all the animal bones on sites in southwestern Colorado. That's different for the southern study area, where we don't find many turkey bones until after 1300 and after the migrations occurred. The Pueblo people had actually been raising turkey for quite a long time. They used turkeys uh, for turkey feather blankets, so for warmth. They used turkeys for um, feathers in different types of clothing. The turkey was a ritually important animal, but at some point, the Pueblo peoples decided to start eating their turkey. Um, and so we're trying to understand exactly why that may be, but one of the, but the timing of when they start eating their turkey is when our simulations suggest that they were really putting, in, putting a dent in those deer resources um, in our study area. And so we think that those two things are, are related. One of the things that happens in the central Mesa Verde area as we move from AD 600 to AD 1200 is that we first we see a first uh, attempt to build fairly large villages uh, in the period from about AD 800 to AD 900. And these villages, many of them at least, are located down in the Dolores River Valley or in other locations where the deer hunting would have been quite good and we see in fact a lot of deer in those sites. Uh, the villages that are built after around AD 1070 in the Pueblo II and Pueblo III periods are located in different places for the most part. They're up in the most agriculturally productive places and they have relatively small amounts of deer in them. What I think was going on is that the Puebla, the early villagers in the 800s and early 900s were locating in places where the deer hunting was really good and they put a premium on that and maize was important but it was a little bit secondary. By the later occupation people were putting a great deal of emphasis on corn agriculture and they located in places where the deer hunting wasn't necessarily very good partly because deer was depleted but partly because they were dependent on turkey that they raised for most of their protein and they were able to feed that turkey corn so that essentially the entire system depended on corn at that point.